Uh, welcome to Thunkworks. Uh, Mets Tools have very kindly sent me this. Let's get into it. And, uh, so this should be one of their deep throat string stretcher tools. So this is a deep throat model, I believe it's what, eight, 8 inch depth, yeah, 8 inch throat depth. Right, so the only sheet metal I've got at the moment is this stuff which is really thin, this is about 0.4 of a millimetre. No, this stuff which is 1.4 millimeters. So I really would prefer something right in the middle, like 0 0.8, 0 0.9, sort of one millimax. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'm gonna have a play around with this, uh, see what results I get. See at the moment this is just hand operated and if you, do, if you were to use a large piece of seat metal, uh, I don't know, on your own, it'd be pretty difficult. You can get foot operated string stretchers, so in the future I may make my own uh, stand with a foot pedal, which uh, means you've got both hands to um, handle a large piece of sheet metal or panel or whatever it is you're working on. So I've moved it over to this side of the, the uh, table, just gives me um, a bit more access to get behind it on the lever. So this is 1.4mm steel, mild steel. Um, this is. So the limit of this is 1.5 or 16 gauge mild steel or 1.9 millimetres in aluminium. So this is almost at the limit for the steel. Oh. You can see there, so I've uh, shrunk this section. So these jaws are the shrinking jaws, so as they come together, they're each jaw sort of two separate parts and they, they uh, pull together. There's a separate set of jaws which do the opposite and pull apart. Um, I'll swap them out in a little while. I'm just going to do a little bit more and see. I'm going to go back over this same section and see how much I can get it to shrink. good for like uh, around sort of door frames and uh, door apertures and window apertures and making making up repair panels so we'll, uh, we'll have a go on the same flange um, with the shrinker no that was shrink with the stretcher in a minute um, I've got this so this stuff this is half a millimeter it's a bit thin really um, but I've got an idea of something I want to make so I'm going to have a try. Um, I've, put, I've put some scribe lines, centre line, and then actually equally spaced. Anyway, I'm going to try and shrink this equally. And well, I'm just going to see what happens. Really, first time I've done this. Um, obviously, with a shimmy sheet metal like this, you need to be holding it with the flange. It supports itself, so you can just leave it in the jaw and just move it, and then you know. So you can see there, this was a flat piece of sheet metal. So this uh, this edge is now shorter than it was originally, which obviously means it's curving round. But also, the edge rolls over. Um, I'll show you a bit closer. So these kinks are there are the actual gaps in the jaws. Um, because this sheet metal is really thin, it's actually folding it over. You can hopefully just see that. So, we'll, uh, we'll keep going with it. And, uh... 
What I'm going to do quickly, I'm going to swap out the jaws, put the, um, the stretching drawers in, have another go on the flange just to uh, show you what that does. So th this is the lower um, shrinking jaw, and you can see all that happens when it when you pull the lever, pushes down the jaws, and in this case, they squeeze together, which pulls the sheet metal in. And the opposite happens on on. Uh, on these ones so as you pull down the jaws actually pull apart so the V goes the other way same piece of uh, method, the 1.4mm thick uh, flange that I had. Oh. There you can see there, it's uh, bent it the opposite way. But yeah, fun tool. So you can see that, so that could be, um, you know, wheel arch from a car, a uh, motorbike, rear fender. You know, if you were um, like building a hot rod and um, wanted, needed to make the corner of the roof panel, and um, you've got a really, you know, really deep throat there, um, so you can uh, gently shrink or stretch whatever shape you need to make. Uh, so that's it for this video. Um, I'll leave links, links in the description to the METS tools website where you can go and have a look at this shrink stretcher and they do a few other different uh, versions as well. So yeah, go take a look at that. They do other, other sheet metal working tools as well, English wheels, uh, bead rollers. I do have a couple of other videos about which I'll link in the description. So anyway, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, until next time.